Yo, man, I don't think they heard you. Won't you tell them what your name is? <laughs> The Never Forgotten channel, um, I was just listening to one of their videos, so I wanted to do some commentary. Uh, this is for fair use, even though we say fair use and all that stuff, it has no legal standing and it doesn't protect you from getting your video snatched. But I'm going to shout it out anyway. This is from Never Forgotten channel. They got about 149 million views for this video. Well, I'm exaggerating, but... This is an interesting thing about Roger and his brother and one brother ki killing the other and committing suicide. And uh, we all know that brothers don't commit suicide. And if they do, they don't use painful methods of suicide. You know what I'm saying? And they definitely don't drive a car and shoot their self in the head simultaneously and then hit a tree. Um, but yeah, um, they were tight, tighter than tight, you know, Roger and his brother. And it was about to part ways, you know, and Roger was in a couple of million dollars debt. Did you know that Roger worked with Cool Keith and wrote some really incredible slow jams like As We Lay? Yeah, a very talented brother. Um, he probably had his demons as well. But um, I think Death Row... I could be wrong, owed him at least $5 million because, you know, the song he did with Tupac was one of his biggest hits ever, you know. And he had a way of flipping his old songs into new songs, you know, every year. But you cannot deny the originality and the well-composition -compos and lyrics of his slow jams, like Computer Love. Um, and he was a master of the vocoder keyboard and people still use his style today around the world um, so anyway that being said I'm going to borrow this channel's video because you know in recent um, events you know there's been a shooting things like that and um, I just want you to see how you know relationships can change behind the scenes and things can go on and um and you never know how things turn out, you see. But anyway, on with the clip. On the morning of April 25th, 1999, tragedy struck. Police found Roger in an alley behind his recording studio, suffering from gunshot wounds, bleeding to death. You know, this is not a, um, a new thing, you know, finding our, you know, most amazing highly praised artists dead you know um jumping out a window but there's no witnesses um falling out of a boat um you name it drowning in a tub on and on and on you know it's just so suspicious to me but anyway then a few blocks away they found larry troutman's car slammed in a tree with a bullet to the head from the same gun, allegedly. His Lordship, um, His Excellency. And, you know, it's interesting that, um, you know, they say it's the same gun. I don't know if we got any confirmation, um, but, you know, relatives shooting other relatives it's not as far-fetched as you would think. There are more than one scenarios. And we can look at the uh, brothers who owned the strip club in San Francisco. Um, one brother shot the other brother. And there's a movie about it. Um, yeah, none of these concepts are far-fetched. But uh, sometimes these things can be convenient to certain parties. 
Shirley Murdoch said when they found Larry, tears was running down his face. It is believed that Larry shot Roger, then killed himself. We are to believe that he backdoored his brother and then he turned around and backdoored himself. Okay. Now, tears on this in his you know, on his face. Um if you discover your brother dead in the alley, you might break into tears because you might assume that you're next. And the next thing you know, you try to get out of Dodge and uh, a car gets in your way. You swerve, you hit a tree, and then they use the murder weapon with gloves and put it in your hands and squeeze the trigger. And then, you know, if it's in Inglewood jurisdiction and LAPD don't have no jurisdiction to, you know, um, palms or greased or whatever but you know it's really not about this you know this might be legit um jealousy amongst relatives you know i'm just you know i'm just grasping at straws because the atmosphere is different right now people are desperate um people feel like they're not loyal they feel disrespected because he was the manager and he, he fed his family he fed himself off of the art as well and when people feel disenfranchised and 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 disloyal to a bloodline in the family um there's a possibility there you know and other people can take advantage of that possibility as well i was thinking about how they found larry's car slammed in a tree when I hear stories about people killing themselves with a gun in, in a car, the car is usually parked somewhere, I believe. I personally never heard of someone shooting themselves then run their car in a tree. But it, it's possible, I guess. But I don't know. A world full of imagination. Yeah, that is a lot to imagine. Especially coming from some OGs in the game who had a lot to live for. And they just had a little misunderstanding. But, you know, we don't know what lies in the hearts of men. We don't really know what lies deep in the heart of men. We try to act humane, but um, there are times when we do not. We act more like savages and we act like members of the animal kingdom. So did he shoot himself while he was driving, then run in a tree? I, uh, guys, it's just something I'm wondering. Roger's son, Larry Gates, said when they told him who shot his father, he said he was going to change his name. Do you believe that Larry really did this to his brother? Do you think it's possible someone else committed the murder and made it look like Larry did it? I'm curious as to what you guys think. I mean, it's possible he did do it, but isn't it also possible it, it was a setup? I don't know, guys. I know sometimes your own family will take your life, your own blood. I heard of a number of those cases. Either way, this was a terrible, terrible tragedy. I know sometimes your own family will take your life, your own blood. I heard of a number of those cases. Either way, this was a terrible, terrible tragedy. Audio jump.